Hey yo, what's up? How's it going? Be live here again. I'm at the co-op still. I actually shared a whole bunch in my last video. I'll just go ahead and post them both. You know, when I left off, um, I basically left off at pain and suffering and how my brother Joel Funk really kind of separated them both and and explained both of them and the difference between pain being physical and suffering being the emotional and mental aspects attached to it really definitely made sense and, and, and for me it's been really a time to surrender for the first three four days I could like I was in a lot of pain and I it was hard for me to reach out to my community to my friends family my fans and say hey please help I can't make food um, and I had angels flying in from every direction. Thank you so much. Now, through that, I really got to see some of my old pa paradigm patterns of like the neediness, the acting, the, the, the parts of me that go into like, a, oh, me aspect, you know? And I really got to look at, exam at those and examine those parts of myself, which has been really phenomenal to work through that kind of restructure those patterns in myself and and to be will be be genuinely able to ask for help and at the same time be genuinely like willing to like let go and like and and know how like what point is am I just am I taking advantage of it you know at one point at what point so that's been a really huge blessing for me to really discover that. Not that I hadn't seen that before and really knew about it, but to really examine it, it to burp up in a way that I really, I just took it to another level and let go and really accepted and overstood it, just really embraced it. So, yeah, so that was really amazing. And now I'm healing. You know, all of us on this planet are healers. We're all, every single one of us have the innate ability to heal ourselves and help others heal. And so when we tap into that point and that, that place in ourselves, then we're very powerful beings. So I've been able to like really get in touch with it for my own healing and growth and to actually help others do the same. And I thank all of those who had support for me. You know, I, I am here for you. And I love all of you so much. What else? Gosh, I was just going to go into co-op, grab some seeded grapes, because they had some seeded grapes. I've been really craving the seeded grapes recently. Seeded fruit and vegetables. It's important to eat seeded fruits and vegetables as much as possible. I have been cutting the seedless fruits out of my life as much as possible. I still use them a little bit and I still eat them a little bit, but as little as possible, and less and less all the time. I mean, fruit seeds kind of go in hand in hand, right? Something needs a seed to grow, unless it's being grafted and modified, genetically modified, who knows what, whether organic or not. So it's something to think about. So I came to get some seeded grapes and they were out. And it was funny because this, these grapes were going to be the last thing I was going to spend my money on before I went to the bank, pulled every single penny out, and just sent it to my children and their mother. And just starting from ground zero, starting from scratch, energetically, as far as the green energy goes. goes. You know, I mean, I've been in this survival mode. I've been in this lack consciousness mode since I was arrested three and a half years ago on and off. There's been ups and downs. And um, at this point, I'm just like, I'm honoring myself for knowing that I'm abundant and I'm completely taken care of in every way, shape, and form, all the time, in every moment. And so I'm going to prove it to myself and start energetically as far as the green energy from scratch, bam, zero. My children and their mom, my kids need it right now. And it's not much. I mean, like, maybe 50 bucks to my name. And I'm going to give it. You know, if I, if I had... 5,000, I'd give it right now. You know, it's like, that's what it's where it's at. That's where I'm at. And 
I'm just so grateful for my life. And I'm so grateful for you. And I'm glad I could share this with you. If there's any way, shape, and form that I can be there for you, hit me up. Whether it be like email, call, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. And I'll do the best of my means, my ability, and of my means to be there for you. I, after all these years of experience and lifetimes, I definitely have some experiential and some experimental and some like knowledge that I can help most people out with. If, even if it's just a little small little aspect, little piece, I'm definitely here willing to share out of gratitude, you know, and wanting to give, you know, just give my gifts to the world in a powerful way. So, woohoo! I love you so much once again, and uh, mwah. woo! Ree!